Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter, uh, MikeSorg.com. I'm sorry, Sorgatron.com. All that gets you the same place. It, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, this is your Good Morning Podcast, and uh, I got a topic for you guys today. I actually really, really want to, you know, I, I really... You know, I'm a very social media person. I'm wearing a PodCamp Pittsburgh t-shirt, you know, uh, which is a social media event we do here in Pittsburgh. And I've had a fortune to become a co-organizer helping with the audiovisual as much as I can. I'm very ex- overextended in that as I'm trying to push some of these videos out for PodCampPittsburgh.com right now. Um, but uh, I had a discussion earlier this week with um, our, our friends at, at uh for the podcast that we, we help them with. Talking about trolling, talking about the internet. And, and, uh, and I want to kind of extend not, not a portion of that conversation because one of it is, uh, you know, I think when I talk to people, there's a conception or misconception and not entirely false, but that if you're involved with Twitter, if you're looking at your phone all the time, um, I do agree that some may need to look up from their phones every once in a while and appreciate the world around them. Um, but I I can't discount the usefulness of these tools. I know I'm kind of jumping right into the ideas here. Um, uh, many, you know, you know, in case I don't want to completely call out the person, but but one statement was, uh, you know, being online uh, with imaginary friends, you know, um, and I, and I thought about that, and 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 I realized how I don't want to say I was insulted, but because I feel like my my friends online are quite real. Um, and maybe that's a problem with me. Um, you know, for us in the circle here, I, I, I have a bunch of Twitter friends that I call my PodCamp friends, you know, because most of them I've met because of PodCamp. It's been really cool. And the the other really cool thing about that is um, these are people that I would not have socialized, I don't think, uh, if it wasn't for something like this. Like, you're, we kind of extended out these chance encounters. Like, I kind of think about in your life, um, it used to be your friends are around uh, the place you hang out and your workplace, right? You have your work friends, and maybe you go bowling on the weekends, and you have friends through that, you know? Or maybe you go to the bar every night, <laughs> if you're one of those kinds of people, and you meet friends through there, you know? Um, and I think, uh, yeah, I, I look at the... the, the the group, the uh, varied group that we, you know, play softball with in, in the summers or do the, the, the turkey bowl with uh, with the Yins team. Great stuff that, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jim Shireman uh, has been, you know, uh, keeping afloat here for years amongst our, our, our group, you know, um, regardless of the numbers, you know. Uh, the hardcore is still coming out, guys. <laughs> but people, you know, we met up with and had, had, had meetups with and, and just to go hang out with. Um, and collaborated with you know, over the last, geez, almost 10 years now since, since I've been doing this kind of stuff. Um, and I don't know if that's me, you know, I, and I know it's not everybody. I know, I know there's definitely extensions of people that, that are holed up in their homes and don't go out, right? Um, I certainly feel less need to go out myself, um, you know, uh, why would I go to a bar? I'm, I'm married 10 years, you know, and I don't like doing that, for instance, right? Um, or other things. Um, and to me, I think it's a, a very important extension because I think about the friends that I have. Last night on the Wrestling Mayhem show, I mean, this, this, I know this is such a little thing these days, but we had a gentleman on who lives in Scotland, British fellow in Scotland. We qualified that. By accident last night, uh, singing the real American Hulk Hogan theme to to us as he's describing his pick for the Mayhem Mania, um, and he's in freaking Scotland talking with us. You know, I mean, it, it's it's you know, okay, we've had phone technology for a while, but still, this is this is this is cool. You know, uh, I, 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 you know that I sit down every week, Monday night, Tuesday night, uh, one in leisure, one in a work podcast kind of situation and that I have a relationship with with several people that I've met in person a handful of times one guy in Texas I've met twice physically right uh Mike handful of times up in uh, Poughkeepsie New York used to be in the Bronx right um I've been to New York City because I have a friend and that's around New York City now you know um and that's broadened me 
Uh, Bobby. Poor Bobby out in Johnstown. What else is he going to do in Johnstown? Let's be honest about this, you know? I mean, I, we have a lot of friends and stuff here. We're in Pittsburgh, you know? We're in a very metropolitan area. We, I mean, even in that case, like, some of them are on the other end of Pittsburgh, like a half an hour away. You know, it's kind of hard to get together. I do see them every once in a while. But you would not have that relationship, I think, if it wasn't for these extensions, you know? I'm not going on... Again, this is me, uh, anecdotal completely, but I'm not going on uh, to find random friends or fake friends on Yik Yak, you know, where it's all anonymous or Twitter or something like that. Doing, I mean, we're doing a little bit of extension and, you know, I, I, I try to talk about things and talk with new people and discover new people. And, and I think that's really cool because instead of going to a bar or finding a social uh, ice cream social about WordPress or whatever your case may be, I mean, I don't need to go find that and be and be um, uh, dependent on how well that person organizes and get the word gets the word out. You can put it out on this service and have that extensive conversation and sometimes find new collaborators, right? Um, you know, you'll find guys like the guys that did National Podcast Day and we got to do an interview with them and now they retweet our stuff, you know, and, and help them get that word out there. And these these networking circles that kind of extend out, you know, and it's it's very exciting. And you can do it if you live in Alaska. You know, it's it's a, a large connection of like minded people to get something done with Oculus. And yes, there are there is the other thing. There are some people that just sit there and nor do Warcraft all day. Um, I mean, I, I really believe the Internet is an extension of who you are. Personified, because if you're a certain kind of person, there's you took while we took away a barrier. Took away that barrier to talk with our friends in Scotland, in Poughkeepsie, New York, in San Antonio, all from here in Pittsburgh, in, in this my $50 studio. Um, we also have that extension if you're not a social person. And there's an opportunity, I think, for those not social people to come out of their shell because of that kind of thing. You know, I don't know how many people I've heard, you know... <laughs> Geez, some people met and got married more or less because of a podcast. Some people met and got married because of a pod camp. I think that's the ultimate in in, in, in positivity. But there are those that are going to sit there and do their Candy Crush all day. They're going to do their World of Warcraft. They're going to uh, be on Reddit and not do much else, you know. Um, maybe they're just, you know, um, settling that lizard brain for excitement in their uh, mundanity of whatever they're doing in their life. Um, but I hope there's also, as somebody messages me, I hope there's also that, that opportunity for expression, expansion, you know. Um, I hope there's opportunity for them to get out of their shells. So, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's kind of where I'm coming with that. And, uh, and uh, I don't know, I just, I just, you know, would love to continue to, my my preaching is to push off this misconception that the internet's bad guys you know um i think uh you know i kind of got on my soapbox there on monday with that with the educational grand round i was like i think educational is the key for for kids to learn how to do it this is the world we live in um one talk was well you know we have the option to be on these services uh yes and but we also, in some cases, have to admit this is the new telephone to be on some of these services. Um, your Facebook and your Twitter, you know, I think. Uh, you know, uh, there's, <laughs> you know, dep depending on your circle, right? So, yes, you can choose to walk away from it, but it's kind of hard if you have a job and it's not always a social media job where you have to interface on a Facebook. Many jobs have an internal Facebook. Facebook has an internal Facebook now that for jobs, Facebook work. And there's versions of that, you know. Not that I don't think you're, you probably shouldn't be having bullying on an internal network now I think about it. But still, I mean, that like these tools are, are tools, you know, and show and platforms and, you know, things that need to be for whatever work you choose. Not everybody, of course. Some people are just social. And sometimes I do forget that. Sometimes it's like, no, this is just the thing I do. It's online, you know. 
We like to think of the internet as a utility and a maybe a right these days. But there are, regardless of what we think that is, there are some people who simply use it as a toy. But I digress. So let me know what do you think. Um, what do you think about it, the perception, the good versus bad of the internet? Um, how do I boil that down to just one question? Uh, internet, internet, good or bad? <laughs> Let's try that. Let me know, Sorgatron.com in the comments or on this video on YouTube on the Sorgatron, I'm sorry, the Good Morning uh, channel. And uh, all that linked over at Sorgatron.com. And yeah, please subscribe to the audio version of Good Morning with Michael Sorg on the um, on the uh, iTunes, and even if you're not subscribing on one of those, please rate us on iTunes. Definitely, we're very new on iTunes. This is the important part. If you're going to rate us, now is the time, because that's when that's when it's most important, from what I understand, from iTunes uh, uh, metrics. So go, please check that out, and you have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.